So there I am writing a blog for my new website and it's looking a little bit bland because there's no images there. I wanted to give something visual. And so I'm going to head over to my new favorite tool. I've been using this for about a year, but the recent upgrade it's got has just supercharged this. This is Sketchwell. You may have seen adverts for this on Facebook. They're advertising heavily there. Like I say, I've been using this for a year. It's a legit program. Comes with a ton of templates. When you buy it, you will be offered some upgrades. I've taken them all because this is brilliant. The team is brilliant. They've been rolling out upgrades very steadily. When you go in, there's a lot of professionally designed templates that you can easily edit. You could use these for work because you don't have to be all this hand-drawn effect. You've got your basic shapes, you've got hat shapes, and there's just a ton of different icons for you to go through and create your own infographics, diagrams, flowcharts, it's a very versatile tool with a load of options. Now, if you get the basic package, you might not see all of these because as I said earlier, I've gone for whatever the top end package is. So I've got loads of extras included. So I think it's worth spending a little bit more on that. With so many, I make regular use of the search bar. Once you've found the item that you want on your canvas, you simply drag it over. This is how easy it is. So they're all shown in black and white, but once you put it on the canvas, you can then edit away so you can see this has got blue in the middle we can change that blue color to something else so let's go with a nice red you can see it's got a black outline the stroke let's turn that dotted we can increase and decrease the thickness we can change how hand drawn it looks we can change the fonts used all very customizable the hand drawn effect is very noticeable or more so on these lines it makes it look like you've scribbled it down so more of a hand drawing so here's another diagram this is an awesome infographic this one is more of a template that is ready to be populated with your own text so you've got your steps and then abc and then you might want to add maybe a, an animation so you just drag on that and that allows you to export this is an animated gif which you can then import to your website and have it animated on screen or you could use it for social media captions these arrows are very quick and easy to draw. I'm used to using Visio and I have to say I much prefer this. If I had this at work, my flowcharts and diagrams would have looked a lot better than they did using Visio, which I always found to be a little bit of a pain. Again, changing the color, changing the style. You can really make this have your own brand stamped on it. They've got some pre-done backgrounds, which I think look great, or you can import your own images, or you can simply have grid lines or dots or just have it as plain when you export this you can also export this without a background so that it's just the diagram on its own and that would allow you to then either drop this onto a website without a background or you could use it in conjunction with another image but let's me demo the super cool new feature using ai that they've just introduced you'll need to supply your open ai api key once you've done that, you can come in, select flowchart, mind map, visual summary, or infographic, and give the AI a prompt. So that's a bit like using ChatGPT. You've got some example prompts there. I'm going to give it a prompt asking it to explain the importance of quality content for a successful blog, and I want it to create an infographic. So you give Sketchwow your prompt. Sketchwow sends that over to OpenAI using your API key. OpenAI has to think about it, sends back text, Sketchwell merges that with templates, presents you with some options, you pick the one you want and add it to your blog. At the time of recording, there's only a few templates available, but more are coming soon. You can preview the template, swap it out for something else, or they'll go ahead and create it. You could save it as it is, but by clicking create, this will open up the canvas and it allows you to completely edit this, change things around, add your own text, add your own logo, whatever you want to do. All the stuff I showed you before is now accessible. So I'm going to add my logo to this and there's a handy little arrow down here. Sometimes that gets filled up if there's more text, but as it's not been, I'll put the logo here. Once you've completed your design, you can export it. There's a range of options. I'm exporting as a PNG, you can do JPEG. You can export as a movie file. You can have a transparent background. You can have a cool background and then once it's out there, you simply add it to your blog and you're done. Of course, these don't just get used for blogs. You could easily create social media graphics, headers, uh, thumbnails, really whatever you want. I'm using this primarily for blogging, but there's loads of options. Now, if you go ahead and buy this, you'll notice there's a few different add-ons. 
I've got them all. I originally purchased this with the Pro add-on and they've just released the Animate and the Monthly Template Clubs. None of it was prohibitively expensive and the team aren't that pushy. In the time I've had this, they've rolled out numerous version updates and extra icons and packages. And so I bought that to support the team. If you want to learn more about this, go check out the link below.